I am totally dismayed that there's been any talk whatsoever about uh, uh, reducing our, our support, our arms support for the Kurdish people who are fighting against evil forces in the Middle East. The Kurds have been uh, uh, just a stalwart in, in this fight against the evil of radical Islamic terrorism, or, or let's say radical terrorists who are using Islam. And uh, just, uh, it, it has to be that the Kurds need to be recognized for this. And I understand that there's even some thought now that being given by the White House to pulling back our military uh, uh, commitment to providing them the equipment and the weapons they need uh, to protect themselves. This is the most would be ingratitude uh, at, a, at the highest level if we do that. The Kurds, we owe the Kurds a great debt of, uh, 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 a great debt for our security, for the fact that they put themselves on the line against the evil forces of the Middle East. So I am uh, uh, going to work with members of Congress to do everything we can to see that the Kurdish people who are fighting the evil forces in the Middle East continue to have our support. And that evil forces especially includes the uh, Iranian-backed uh, uh, Iraqi militias and, and military. Uh, Iraq was, uh, uh, is now no longer exists in reality. The people who are claiming to be Iraqi soldiers are really nothing more than the stooges in the, of, the, of the Iranian uh, uh, Mullah regime. The Peshmerga should be uh, armed directly, and the United States should have make sure that uh, we do everything we can to pay back this debt of gratitude that all Americans should have for the courage of the Peshmerga uh, in combating an evil that threatens us in the United States and the rest of the world.